Richard Corbett, Member of the European Parliament for Yorkshire. <laughs> Conference, it's no coincidence that the strongest opponents of our membership of the European Union are on the right wing of the Conservative Party and are neoliberals. What they dislike about the single European market is that it is a market with rules. Rules to protect workers, rules to protect the environment, rules to protect consumers, rules to deal with multinational companies. They hate this. Now, those rules may not be good enough, and it's the daily work of our MEPs in the European Parliament to make them better. And we fight political battles to make the European Union better. It is not perfect, nor is the United Kingdom perfect. We are fighting at national level, we are fighting at European level to improve things, to get better rules, to improve society. But those rules that exist in the European Union, even if they're not good enough, they're enough to make the right wing go apoplectic. That's why they want to leave the European Union. On top of that, having rules at European level is sometimes the only way, or nearly the only way, to deal with some subjects. When we deal with things at national level, what do they tell us, the Tories and those that are opposed to it? We can't do that in Britain. It would undermine our competitive position. We can't do that in Britain. Companies would move abroad to another country. But when we act at European level, that argument is undermined. When we, thought, when we argued for a limit on bankers' bonuses in Britain, they used that argument. Oh, we can't do it. All the banks will move to Frankfurt, Luxembourg. When we voted for the limits on bankers' bonuses in the European Parliament and we brought it in at European level, that argument fell by the wayside. That's why the, the right wing of the Tories dislike Europe. Now, Cameron will no doubt seek to undermine that in his so-called renegotiation. We won't like what he comes back with at the end of that. Some things may be fig leaf, some things may be minor improvements, but I'm sure it will contain things we don't want. But the referendum is not on Cameron's reforms. The referendum is on the much bigger question of the very membership of the European Union. Cameron's reforms can be undone. They can be reversed by a future Labour government if we don't like them. But leaving the European Union could not so easily be undone. And that is why it's right that we have a principled yes, an unconditional yes to membership, not tied to whatever little changes Cameron makes or even some damaging changes he might make, because those can be reversed. That's why we must start our campaign now, not tied to what Cameron wants to do, not linked to his fiddly little negotiations, but a principled yes we need to be in the European Union because it's important for our country as a matter of principle, as a matter of pragmatic concern, and for the selfish interest of our country as a trading nation. All those reasons lead us to that conclusion, and we must have a firm, clear, independent Labour campaign making our voice heard in an unequivocal way. Thank you very much.